Gallo, KC Thunder. Uh, Shea, I think seven out of the 11 guys that played for you tonight, this was their very first playoff experience. What did you like about the way that they just handled all of it tonight, the noise, and um, executed late when you needed to get stops and get buckets? Yeah, everybody that came in. Uh, everyone that came in um, kind of played their role, um, gave good minutes. Um, yeah, all 11 guys did their part in the, the reason why we won tonight. Then I want to ask you about the, the go-ahead bucket late. How did you manufacture the, the switch there to get McCollum? And then um, what did you see in terms of making your move and, and striking? Yeah, um, just I set a screen on the ball, um, and, and they switched on the dub. Um, and then I just uh, caught the ball at the, the elbow um, and just tried to be aggressive. Um, and make a play that I've, I've made before. Jay, we've talked all year about you dealing with double teams, triple teams, um, but the wall they built tonight, just how did that maybe compare to some of the things you've, you've seen all year? Um, I, I don't think it was much different. Um, they are, are really good at that defensively. Um, and we knew that going into the game. Um, like you, it feels like that every time you play them, they make you work to score, um, and because of it, they're a really good defensive team. Uh, out of ways you can attack it, and we can for sure be better at that. Um, we'll try to do so for the next game. There was a a moment during that fourth quarter stretch where you, you miss a step back, and then you like put your, your arms over your head. I mean, you're never that animated. Just can you describe the emotion that came with that fourth quarter stretch? Yeah, um, it just felt really good. Um, and it's like just a little bit disappointing when it feels good and doesn't go in. Um, but there's a lot of plays left, a lot of chance for me to um, make it up. Shane, just one of your thoughts on just the, the vibe in the arena and just the crowd in general? Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, they were exactly what I expected. Uh, I, I've, I've said this so many times, like, even when I, I wasn't here and I played here, the arena was always electric, always had so much energy. Um, and they were perfect, and they were themselves tonight. And just your thoughts overall on how Lou defended B.I.? Yeah, he was really good. Um, Lou was himself. He was aggressive, made him make tough shots. And a guy like that is going to make tough shots. He's talented. Um, but Lou, Lou did a good job tonight. Yeah, Shay, what did you uh, think about the physicality of the game and then you, yourself adjusting to it? Yeah, it was good. Um, it was consistent. Uh, let us bump. Um, I feel like it was what, what playoff basketball is. A non-basketball question. Um, first time talking to you since you signed the extension of Converse. You talked about at the All-Star break how it's a perfect fit for you and them. I'm just, can you just comment on the extension and then how excited you are for uh, a signature shoe? Yeah, um, it's stuff you dream about as a kid. Um, obviously, thanks to them for giving me the opportunity and the platform to, to live out my dreams. Um, I don't take it for granted. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for the future, for sure. Well, I'll ask you about frustration that you, you showed a little bit more tonight, maybe than we've seen in a while. What is it within you that allowed you then to have the have the pull-up jumper on the baseline and then the go-ahead three-point play. Just walk us through sort of going from the heavy emotions one mm -hmm. way to then having those moments late. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm upset. Like when I uh, make a mistake, miss a shot, I'm upset um, probably for about 10, 15 seconds, and then it's the next possession. Um, if you want to win, you have to do so. You have to move on. Um, and there's so many possessions late in the game, when it slows down, um, that if you let the previous possession distract you, you'll let the game slip. And I just tried not to do so. Can, uh, the last 14 seconds, you're up two. New Orleans has the ball. Uh, take us through uh, what you saw and what you felt in terms of, I know Kaysen ended up being in the spotlight on that play. But from what you saw in that play and what you just sensed happening around you, how'd that play out? Um, we wanted to switch, not give up any threes, um, make them drive into Chet. Um, I thought we, we did pretty good. They pressured the ball. I think CJ like bobbled it a little bit. Um, 
And then he ended up getting a, a decent look, uh, but it was tough. Um, so I think we did our job that possession. I'm sorry, Shay. I'm sure you saw, but Trey Mann was here at the game today. Just how cool is it to see him out there? And how much does that speak to the culture you guys are building that even when someone gets traded away, they're still a part of this family, essentially? Yeah, um, it's super cool. Um, Trey was kind of here for the beginning of the whole rebuild. Um, he's like a brother to all of us. Um, we obviously all appreciate his support, but um, yeah, it's super cool and fun having him here. Shay, as a rookie, you played some big minutes for the Clippers in the playoff series. You had two key stops from two rookies with Chet and Kaysen down the stretch. How impressive is it just seeing from younger guys in their first playoff games sort of come through? Yeah, um, I don't. I don't really consider them rookies anymore. Um, they played so many minutes, so many big moments. Um, once you get past 82 games, I don't think you're a rookie anymore. Um, they proved that tonight. Uh, Nick Gallo, KC Thunder. Uh, Chet, just what's going through you as you walk off the floor after your first playoff game and first playoff victory? Um, <clears throat> obviously feeling like I could, uh, you know, be better uh, in different situations out there on both ends of the floor. Um, but, you know, it's always great to start off with a win. Uh, you know, if I'm starting out uh, at, you know, 15, 11, five blocks, uh, and, you know, I can only go up from there. Uh, I feel like we're in a good spot, um, you know, getting some some rhythm and everything back from being off for a week uh, and kind of just finding that as a team. You know, I think, uh, you know, it's only up from here. You mentioned the blocks. You had the one late that you really met it at the apex. How exhilarating is that moment for you in clutch time of a playoff game? Um, I mean, at the time, it was just going through my mind. I was trying to make, make a play. Um, and I guess that's what happened, and uh, we were able to capitalize on that other end because of it. Chet, that, that final trip to the, the free throw line, it seemed like the building went completely silent. Just how quiet was it to you in that moment? Uh, very quiet <laughs> compared to, like, the rest of the game. And I was going to – like, you could hear a needle drop for sure. What's going through your mind? Uh, make the free throws. I don't think that's the same. Yeah. I think it's a pin drop. Same shit. No. <laughs> Just uh, the the moment when you and, and Jonas are kind of like wrestling for that old board, he lets out a scream, you you start barking bark, at the crowd. Yeah. Like, what's going through your head in that moment? And, and just describe that intensity that maybe summarized the, the game. Uh, he yelled in my face, um, and he picked me up off the floor. So uh, I just barked. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it was good energy the whole time. I thought that was pretty cool. I got to bark with the fans. They barked back. Um, just competitive juices going. Um, both fighting for the ball. It's kind of playoff basketball. Um, it wasn't like anything like, you know, like mean. It was just more like both going at it. Um, but like I said, you know, it's kind of hard to recover. Like like I said, he picked me up off my feet. So I didn't really have like a great response other than to bark. Jaylen, I wanted to ask you about the crowd specifically and basically after anything that you did you could hear the crowd barking like what what's what's that like crazy I didn't expect that at all but um like I said it, it ended up making me bark so um we have we have great fans that's in the NBA um so that was, was that was wild. fun yeah that was a wild environment it was wild and I don't, I don't have anything up. to gauge it off of I went to Santa Clara so there's a lot of empty games so <laughs> yeah it's up there with the kennel for sure yeah, it got wild. Yeah, Jalen, um, when you get switched on uh, B.I. or C.J., it didn't seem like you guys switched off or any of you guys fought through screens. Just being out there, how tough is it, especially in a physical game, to fight over those screens and try and not, not let them get to their spots? It's hard because Don Chunis is setting them. It's a really big dude. But um, those guys are extremely talented and some of the best scores in the NBA, so you just got to make it hard. B.I. hit some tough ones. Suja McCollum hit some tough ones. You know, and that's why they're on that team. Uh, especially, like, playoffs, you, you got to have guys that hit tough shots, and that's what they do. You just got to make it tough and kind of live with the result after that. I think the biggest thing is just for every team is just not give, you know, main engines open ones and kind of just live with it. But it's tough. You know, it's the job that we also get paid to do, so... 
I kind of do it and just have fun with it. Jalen, we, we saw visible signs of frustration out of Chase a, a little bit in the fourth quarter, which is so rare for him. What did you guys sense from him? And then you were obviously uh, out on the uh, perimeter when he switched in off to CJ for that last, uh, in the last minute there for the go ahead basket. Just what did you see on that play as well? Um, to answer your first question, it, I think whatever like frustration you're probably seeing probably doesn't have anything to do with the team. I think when you just hold yourself to that high of a standard, you know, and you, you don't make, you make a play that you didn't, you didn't like, I feel like that's just a normal response, but he does a good job of not really letting anybody show it or it doesn't really come out in his play. Um, you know, we look to him with, you know, kind of the confidence that radiates off of him and then just play off that. So it's something we don't really notice, you know, we try and pick him up, but it's really not like he's down to even have to pick him up. So, and then, um, he's willing to do whatever it takes, you know, everybody out there is ready to play defense on whoever's out there. And, um, you know, he's just one one microcosm of it. What about the the, the, the pan one he got? Uh, he switches uh, with you and CJ's on him. Did you sense in that moment like this is a Shea moment right here? Yeah, MVP moment for sure. It's a grind. That was tough, man. Yeah, the team yeah, shot it well. A lot, of, a lot of points, but you won the game. Yeah. What can, what can this do for you? This kind of game where it wasn't a typical up and down, a lot of points, easy buckets. What can this game, this win do for you? I'm, I'm gonna just my answer is gonna be quick. No, I'm just saying it's a, gr it's a grinder up a game. It's not a, your normal. Grinder. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's playoff basketball. You got to get it out the mud. Um, again, credit to them. You know they they played an extremely good game too, coming in here in that environment and you know kind of taking us down to the last shot. Um, but I think both teams feel like we can do a lot of things better and kind of improve off that. But not every game is gonna be pretty. That's just that's just the playoffs. You kind of look at a lot of these games going on right now. There's a lot of ugly possessions and a lot of just, you know, gritty, grinded out games, and that's kind of what it's going to be. We've talked a lot about your guys' youth and playoff and experience. In what ways did that maybe show or, or not show tonight? Um, I mean, no game's going to be perfect, whether you've – played 100 playoff games or no playoff games uh, no matter what there's going to be mistakes out there there's going to be things that we can clean up going into the next game and that's the mindset we're trying to have we're not trying to think about and experience this or anything outside of what we have to do to improve get better and try to win basketball games and then uh, Jalen when you see just the intensity in which Lou defends with especially the job he did on Ingram what's that kind of do for the group to try to maybe match that physicality First team. Yeah. yeah, he's a first team defender, man. Um, I think anytime you see somebody playing that hard, it makes you play just as hard and try and match that. You know, you don't want to go out there and he's playing so hard and then, you know, you give your guy an easy <coughs> one. So um, I think it's just level of pride that he plays with on the defensive end. And I think it just kind of, you know, kind of gives us all that jolt to want to play harder and cover up for him when he does get beat or, you know, makes a mistake. So which is a rare thing. So anytime we can kind of have his back there, that's something that we want to do. Yeah, Chad, in the locker room, you were fired up about Kaysen, fellow rookie. What what have you seen of him, and especially those last 14 seconds, the way he defended McCollum? What what what'd you say? Um, I mean, he's not a rookie anymore either. He's played 82. Um, but, you know, that's what he's done um, all year long. That's what he's showed us all year long. Uh, you know, he's a high-level defender, and, um, you know, tonight he showed that again in the biggest moment of the game, uh, you know, and, and taking away the look that they were trying to get and, um, you know, making it tough on, on McCollum, um, you know, so shout out to him. Uh, you know, the, the questions we'd be getting tonight would be a lot different if he didn't get that stuff. Let's talk Thunder. This is a question for either of you guys. Pretty late in the game, I think it was the last possession, you guys sort of had a huddle right before the ball was thrown in. Who initiated that, and what was sort of said between you guys? Uh, Mark probably initiated that <laughs> in the film session a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I was the last one in, so I don't know. Ask me, I, don't uh, know. Shay, I think Shay kind of pulled us all together. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Mark had shown clips about that, just like being a tight, tight huddle team. Um, just kind of shows our connectedness. Um, you know, we really try and listen to what he's saying, and I think when we can take in what he's actually talking about, we end up doing stuff like that out of random. So just bring us close together as a team and 
talk about coverages and stuff like that. I don't know what we were talking about, but I think it was like some execution stuff. Yeah. I don't remember. I just remember it was a huddle. Chet, what did you think about the, the block that you had at the end of the game? And uh, what, what was your reaction on that? Uh, um, I was just trying to make a play. Uh, you know, didn't want to leave <clears throat> things into the hands of the other team, I guess. So I was trying to go up and make a play whether, uh, you know, I was going to end up being late and, you know, have it be a goaltender or not. You know, I tried to go make a play and, um, you know, I think it was clean, but again, I'm not sure. And it's only a goaltender if they call it. So go make a play and live with the results. Yeah. Uh, I was like on the border of goaltender or not, but I think just in those plays, you just kind of got to just was run it? to the rim. And no, I thought it was, it was clean. clean? Yeah, I thought it was clean too, but you know, you never know. So I just, I thought it was a clean block. I just ran in there. I think I ended up getting the ball. So, um, but we, you know, we expect to make plays like that. So it's not like a, a big shock, but I think it kind of shifted momentum a little bit. And you know, big stop. Anyone else? Thanks, guys.